This is Biker Dad, brought to you by Biker Justice USA and the National Academy of Motorcycle and Greenwood. Hi, my name is Chris Best and I left my 25 year corporate career to ride motorcycles and tell stories and this week that adventure brings me here. Where is here? It's out in the middle of nowhere in the woods in Alabama. Normally there ain't nothing out here but a couple chickens, but a couple times a year it becomes the hot spot for a big rally and the wildest party in Alabama. That's where we start this week's episode of the Biker Dad TV show, so let's roll. Have you ever sat at your job and thought, mm, what if I just got up and left? Tell that horrible boss to take this job and shove it. Have you ever wanted to just walk out? What about burnout? Well, that's exactly what I did, but I didn't just quit. I left my 25 year corporate career to ride motorcycles and tell your story. Daytona Beach, Florida where you can actually drive onto the beach. Rick Fairless, a legend of his own, introduced me to Richard Rollins. Mayfield, Kentucky. Southeast Missouri. Beautiful city of Knoxville, Tennessee. Gulf Coast of Mississippi. The Florida coast in the Tampa Bay area. The Orange County Choppers, Roadhouse and Museum. Talking to Paul Tuttle Sr. himself. But make no mistake, this is not a show about motorcycles or even about me. Instead, I traveled across the country to meet the people who use their passion for motorcycles to make their communities stronger, safer, and better. This is Biker Dad. On this episode of the Biker Dad TV show, we're talking about the rally at the shop, but we're also talking about several other things that are happening here. A poker run for a good cause during this rally. Also, the comeback story of the whole place. This was actually even though it's out in the middle of nowhere, the scene of a deadly tornado. And we are going motorcycle camping as well with all octane camping. And you gotta check out how these guys do it because they do it right. I'm David Holland, owner of the Rally at the Show. It's a bike rally, so we're in Marbury, Alabama. Hi, I'm Patty. We're having a good time. We're at the Rally at the Shop in Mulberry, Alabama we have a good time. It's a great place. They're good people. We love David and Carrie. We're together with all of our friends, the rally games, the bands, the party. It's a good time. It's a little hot. We're getting our pools ready and they got pool, big pools up there. I love the band. Brandon and them are awesome. We are staying till we got here Wednesday and we're leaving Sunday. Thursday's the meet and greet. Friday we have a band that we do the bike games and all that. Then we have a band Friday night. Saturday they do more bike games and then another band. Uh, they do the slow roll, the keg roll. We're just at the bike rally, man. First time here at the shop, trying to check it out. You know, we hear a lot of things about it. So we came out and checked it out. It's a good time. Great we time. loved it here. Loved it. Yeah, it's a really good time. It's, everybody's nice, the people are good, the, the atmosphere is great. And they, they even got a couple swimming pools and everything. I think it's really good, dude. Uh, Rally at the Shop, uh, they actually do a couple events a year. This is their summer bash. They have one in the spring. And it's a, it's a couple that actually own Repair Shop. And they do, I think they do bike weeks, or uh, bike nights once or twice a, a month. And then they do these rallies. and. They're, they're just a really great couple and they try really hard to you know, make everything as, as easy as possible on the guests and they, I think they do a, a bang up job. Went to a few bike rallies, met a bunch of people. They found out that we had some land, told us that we should probably put on a bike rally. Our very first rally was great. We had over 500 people here and then COVID hit and of course it went down and now it's coming back up. Well, there you, as you've seen, you see naked people walking around, a lot of naked people. One of the things I've learned about these rallies out in the middle of nowhere in these small, tiny communities is that's where they get wild. You think about Sturgis being wild, no, it's uh, the little rallies out here in the middle of nowhere. In fact, there's a lot of it we just can't even show you, but there is a lot that we can and it was a ton of fun. We've had all kinds of bands, from, I mean, from heavy metal to country uh, and it, uh, everything in between. 
Love it. This my this what I call my home rally. This the only one I try to make it to. You know the rally. I, if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. This the one I want to make sure I'm gonna come to. The brotherhood, sisterhood, the atmosphere, laid back, no trouble. You can talk your problems out. You know this your getaway. This your oasis from day to day grind. So once I come to the shop, is you know I dust all that off, come in, have a good time, and then go back home. You know after I relax. Great. Because it's like this, it, nowadays everybody wants to be divided and then here it is, this is a rally, you can come be yourself, be around folks that love the thing you love to do, that's right, you know, ride in the family, that's about it. Yeah, it's called respect, you know, respect. If you don't have respect for somebody, you're going to be out that gate. Other than that, respect everybody, they respect you. Meet some great people. You're going to meet all walks of life. You're going to meet doctors, nurses, teachers, veterans. You know, you're gonna meet a lot of good folks, truck drivers. You're gonna meet folks who've been on hard times, good times. You're gonna meet a lot of folks that might be an inspiration. I met a couple of folks that when I'm down, I can call and talk to, you know. I never thought in a million years, okay, I got family, but I will call somebody who went through the struggle I went through at my age, or went through the struggle early in life. So that's all it is, it's family. The big part of the rally at the shop is, of course, the shop. This is where they have the big party. Bands playing on that stage right there. Kick-ass band last night on that stage, and I have another one again tonight. But it wasn't that long ago where this whole thing was blown away by a deadly tornado and that ripped right through the property, killed a couple people, and had the owners hiding for their lives too. The cool thing about that, though, is that the community rallied together to help get this shop back on too in time for a rally and had a really short period of time to do that. But as you can see, it made it all happen. Yes, January 12th, tornado hit us. Took my son's house, took the top off my house, took half the shop, killed two of my neighbors. It took eight houses right around us. We went in the container there, loud and scary, very loud. Uh, me and my wife, and uh, I, well, my wife was crying and praying, and I was telling her we're gonna be all right. It really wasn't a bunch of talking, everybody was just praying. So it happened in January, I did, Every, yes, everybody. Actually, a lot of the people that come to the rally, uh, the day after the storm were out here, they all came and helped clean up, and everybody asked, are you, are you still gonna be able to do a rally? And I told them, yeah, we will, we will do a rally regardless of the building or not. We love it. I mean, we, we appreciate everybody that comes out and, and supports us. The rally is a little more diverse than you might expect, uh, given the symbolism that you see everywhere. In fact, I talked to a guy who's right here from central Alabama. He has a pretty unique take on it. And even though his skin color might be different, he calls the people who are flying these flags family. I call it all. Uh... I like to call the Catch 22, you know, the elephant in the room about it. But other than that, I don't. It's only offensive when somebody who love bringing hate about it. Other than that, all my history I learned. You know, I went to a high school that was a uh, Confederate president. So all that, you know, you got some folks take it as a uh, hate thing. Some folks don't take it as a hate thing. Other than that, is they Southern pride. I'm from the South, but other than that. The flag is the flag, you know, they try to erase it, but ain't much they can erase, you know, it's there, it's gonna be there, you know. Some folks still gonna fly, some folks not gonna fly, but you know, you can't erase history, you know, for real, for real. But good atmosphere is family. Bump all the stuff about, you know, race tension and all that, it's family. You know, you only gotta have the same skin color, same, what uh, to be brothers, you can just be family. It's pretty wild yeah, here when they have a party. Love it. <laughs> love it. It's pretty, it's pretty great laid back. I love the parties. If you're up in Mulberry, Alabama, and won't come to the shop, come here. You won't come to a good rally, come here. Come to the shop or come to any rallies in Alabama. You have a good time. You know, some folks say they ain't rally like this and that. It's just a term. That's all. So again, I, this is not about me being pro or against what you're seeing here over my shoulders. I just wanted to address it a little bit in the show since it is everywhere and uh there are a lot of people who have a different take on it including that young man we just spoke to what's your opinion comment on the video that's fine with me let's just keep it civil
Hi there, this is Chris Best, the Biker Dad. I'm just here to let you know that myself and the hundreds of thousands of people who follow us on social media and watch the TV show are here to help. Do you need help with something? Give me a call, that's my number right there, 251-402-6392. Especially if you need legal help, I have an army of lawyers across the country who can help you with injuries after motorcycle crashes especially, but other stuff like crime and everything else too. So give me a call, 251-402-6392. I'd like to introduce you to my new friends at All Octane Camping. A new way to enjoy motorcycle rallies, mudding events, Jeep events, and a whole lot more. At the camps, they have large spacious tents, big beds, a fire pit, a huge inflatable party house with air conditioning, hot tub, a lot more the information about all octane camping including their upcoming events at all octane camping.com hope to see you on the road there at some of their events again all octane camping.com thousands of innocent bikers are injured and even killed on our streets and highways in the united states every year and far too often we don't get the justice we deserve even if we did absolutely nothing wrong so how do you find the help you need? People who are ready to go to the mat and get justice for you. Just go to bikerjusticeusa.com to find a list of lawyers across the United States who are trusted by me, Biker Dad. Biker Dad is brought to you in part by the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Why do I trust NAML? Because they work relentlessly to make our roads safer for everyone. They bring awareness to the motorcycle community all across the USA. They fight for justice for bikers too. If you're an attorney who's interested in joining the fight and the cause, go to NAML.org for more information. On the road in central Alabama, out in the middle of the woods, just north of the state capital of Montgomery, you know something that's becoming more and more popular is combining motorcycles and camping, especially at rallies and especially at the ones that are out in the middle of nowhere. You're seeing more and more of these places pop up, including this one, All Octane Camping. And they're set up here at the rally at the shop to make it one-stop shopping for you. Make it easy just to come here, put your stuff down, and go party and do it responsibly. And it's a ton of fun. And it's also really surprisingly comfortable. In fact, I think you probably have to refer to this more as clamping than camping. So let's go and check out All Octane Camping. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm the CEO of All Octane Camping, LLC. My business partner, Derek, is around here somewhere. So All Octane Camping is essentially a, a portable uh, accommodations for varying different events such as motorcycle rallies, music festivals, mud bogging, and we try and take the hassle out of camping for you. We come, we bring everything, set it all up for you, provide you with bedding, uh, beds. We do medical grade pillows so they're never reused. It's the one thing we can't sanitize. And we set it all up and we tear it all down and we host the entire weekend with you and have a, a blast doing it. So. Having camped ourselves and doing it, 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 uh, it can be frustrating trying to keep all that stuff on your bike. So this way we, we take all that away for you know the, the average biker who doesn't really want to put all that stuff on their bike and travel around and you can just show up and start partying right away. You don't even have to worry about setting up. Oh I love the camp here. This is the first time we've ever seen something like this and uh, we saw it on the Facebook page and uh, my wife showed it to me, and so I'm like, let's try that out, because we always ride our bike. We don't ever have a trailer or nothing, so we just bring hammocks and tent, and camp, tent camp out hammocks. So when we saw this, we're like, we don't have to take anything with us. It's cool. That's, and so, yeah, we like it. It's awesome. They got everything, too. They, they, they supply everything for you. It's a game was, changer for us. It was a game changer. Uh, my name's Derek Taylor. I'm a co-founder of All Octane Camping. We're at Rally at the Shop in Marbury, Alabama. Well, with what you got, you know, you got your nice little outdoor mat. Don't want to track anything inside. Our tents are, they're eight-man tents, but they're octagonal. So you got plenty of room on, you know, on either side for all your stuff. You know, I ain't, I ain't very tall. I'm only five foot nine, but I got friends that are six, three and they have no problem standing up in here. Like I said, there, there's more than plenty of room for all your stuff. You get exactly what you see. Uh, full linen, queen size air mattress, fan with light. It will last probably at least a couple of days on a charge. 
and it's it's great to have you know whatever whenever it's hot and you're trying to sleep which we've done really good at this rally the, the weather's been absolutely perfect you know during the day it's hot but at nighttime it falls down and it's great comfortable weather it's a queen size pillow top or the high rise bed they call it you have power all night long in your tent charge your phone anything else you know some people have CPAP machines so you'll have that you know you got power for all that and sometimes you need to you need to air your mattress up a little bit because the temperature fluctuates so you can air your mattress up and not have to worry about anything we try to make it as seamless as possible you know and as easy and convenient for all our patrons well the thing about it is you know whenever you go to a bike rally or most all bikers that go to a bike rally you know they don't want to have to tote a whole lot of stuff you know so if you're trying to tote a tent and, and your bed roll and food and this that and the other just just all your stuff on the back of a bike unless you have a trailer you know it's kind of hard to do sleeping was fine like it was it was good like i, I thought it was going to be hot and it wasn't it was nice and very comfortable very comfortable them beds are real thick and they uh, they say plugged up so you can adjust the air on them they're really good after 30 minutes of the hot tub they supply here like a baby. <laughs> That's true. There's an air conditioner in there. It depends on how humid and, and, and hot it is as to whether it, it actually cools it off. But we do try. Uh, and then we also have a fire pit um, for you know hanging out on the cooler evenings. Uh, we usually also have a pool. Um, but this venue, they have two large ones, so we didn't see the point in setting ours up. We have um, boogie bottoms in two weeks, and then we have. Uh, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue in Arkansas, and then we have Rumble on the River in Texas, and then we have uh, Lone Star Bike Rally also in Texas, and um, October we also have another Bama Bike Fest, um, their Halloween Bash. So we have five events for the re remainder of this year. We're working on actually on a potential sixth, um, which is a mud bogging event, um, and then next year we have uh, Five in Texas, eight in Alabama, and I think two in Arkansas. So they just make it so easy, convenient, and fun, and actually add a little bit of the R word to it too, responsibility, so you just have fun and not worry about getting in trouble for having a little too much fun and then hopping on your bike. So I will definitely be going back on the road with all octane camping and we're going to be coming up on some of their upcoming trips like we're planning on going to blues bikes and barbecue in northwest arkansas with them later this year if you'd like to learn more about motorcycle camping glamping whatever you want to call it just check out the biker dad facebook page or check out all octane camping just google all octane camping and it's on my facebook page and my website as well i'm gonna go have some fun and then crash in my tent back there Our Back on Two Stories are brought to you by Biker Justice USA and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. All right, on this episode of the Biker Dad TV show, we're talking about the rally at the shop, but we're also talking about several other things that are happening here. A poker run for a good cause during this rally. So uh, you're doing a poker run today. What, what's that for? And what's so that's for uh, Libby and Scott. Scott is a, a biker who's got Neil, can't work, so we're right, trying to raise money for them. Uh, great guy. Uh, actually, he's friends with everybody, him and his wife, and they used to do all the rallies. And then he's, like I said, he got ill, uh, and I think they're uh, they're still trying to figure out what's wrong with him, but he, he can't work. Well, my name is Bull, or some of my people call me Bo. I'm from Montgomery originally, born and raised. Uh, I ride solo though, I used to be in two clubs, so did my first poker run, never done one. Kind of weird, <laughs> you know, I always do more your rides or riding packs for like breakouts of the air thing, but it's gonna be fun. We appreciate everybody that comes out and, and, and supports us and is helping to raise money for him. Now, this week's Biker Dad Tech Tip. All right, this week's Tech Tip, we're here with Neil from Harley-Davidson, who just did this cool handlebar install. And we all like talk about how they fit and how comfortable they are, and more importantly, how cool they look. But 
There's another really important thing about an install that we need to talk about, right? Right. Um, handlebar clamps. Uh, after pipes and air cleaner, one of the first things people do is fit the bike to themselves with a nice set of handlebars. But with more height comes more leverage. Uh, this is a bagger nation clamp. It has set screws. Keep these things from falling down to your lap when you hit the throttle. So, uh, people don't really think it's you don't really see it too much, so people don't think about upgrading it. I mean, the Harley clamp does a great job, but if you're deviating from any finance, Harley finance, finance, setup or height, it's good to have some extra protection there. I actually noticed that on my Dyna, I put almost these exact same handlebars on my Dyna, and since then, even when I take off really fast, get a little torque, I can feel the bars. Exactly. And what I really noticed, how I really noticed, is that I look over at my mirrors and they're out of line. Like the mirrors didn't move, but my handlebars did. Yeah, staring at the shoulder behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. These, uh, like I said, when you when you go grab a handful of throttle, the last thing you want is these things moving. I just it's just not a safe situation. There are um, LA Choppers, Bagger Nation, uh, a few different manufacturers of these. It's this. These are uh, Paul Yaffe bars, so of course they come the Paul Yaffe clamp. We also did the polyurethane bushings to keep things rigid. And where are those? They are right down here. They replace the uh, factory Harley rubber. Super solid, so you are connected to your bars, connected to the bike, connected to the road. All right, cool, awesome. So um, that's this week's tech tip. We'll check in with Neil next week. My name is Jason Cox. I'm the president of Brothers Keepers Chapter 40 here in Sturgis, Kentucky. Well, like I said, I'm the president of uh, Brothers Keepers and we're an all firefighter club, paid and volunteer. There's 43 chapters, I believe, in the United States right now, all the way from Louisiana up to Pennsylvania, over to Colorado and back to the East Coast. Anybody that's actively serving or is a veteran? Our main mission is firefighters riding with firefighters because of just the conditions and the things we deal with, just the brotherhood, be able to spend time with like-minded guys on our bikes, just kind of get away from it. But secondary, we just like to take care of kids. So the number one thing that all of our chapters do is we pick a local charity or a national charity and we devote our time to raising money for it. That's, we're actually doing two fundraisers at one time. Actually, one of our firefighters on my department, his son was diagnosed with uh, a brain cancer. I can't remember the name of it, but it's non-treatable. And uh, so we're doing a fundraiser for him next weekend. We do have a donation bucket set up this weekend for him too. But this weekend specifically, we're doing Camp Hope, which is for pediatric burn patients. So any kid that gets burnt, State of Kentucky goes to Vanderbilt, say, then they get a they get a free pass. The nurses send them a packet and they'll be able to attend this camp until they're 16 years old. Then after that, I believe they could be junior counselors, stay involved with the organization, keep giving back to the other kids that come through the camp. Well, Camp Hope is a huge camp. They The kids come down for almost a week and they have zip lines, they have canoeing, swimming, crafts, I mean, it's just non-stop kid stuff the entire time they're there. So it's special to me and to other firefighters to be able to send kids to a camp where they can have a little bit of normal, normalcy in their life and spend time with the, the kids. And it's just a great organization. The people are great. They send uh, notes and letters out and get, during COVID, they sent all the kids because they couldn't go, sent them all gift boxes and, you know, made them feel special even when they couldn't be there in 2020. Just great people, great organization, well worth supporting. Sturgis, Kentucky is a good motorcycle rally. I like it because it is a motorcycle rally. It's not a lot of golf carts and other things. Like, there's a lot of bikes here. It, it leans more to the old school style of rallies, and I really like that. So, it's hot. You gotta get you a swimming pool, hang out, put up with the heat, but it's a good time. It's some of the most beautiful riding around. I mean, if you wanna take off down an old country road where the trees are just completely encapsulated on the road and just twist and turn through Amish country, there's some really beautiful rides. 